Hello, I'm Rupinder Randawa, Principal Product Manager at Equinix. I would like to show you how to order an IX remote port. So I'm on the IX portal. I've logged in, and I'm going to select Order a Port. I want to connect via a third party who has a cage in an Equinix IBX. That'll be my remote port. I then select my uh, region and metro. It'll then show the data centers available at that metro. Because I'm logged in and I've selected the location, I can choose which account I will use and port type. You can see um, I now have a running summary of the details and pricing. In this example, I won't require any link aggregation or redundancy, but an ASN is mandatory. Now I go to connection details. Now, because this is a remote port, this is where I must upload a letter of authorization. So I'm going to select my letter of authorization and I will upload it from my computer. So I've selected my file, loa.pdf. And I upload. It has now been uploaded. It can be deleted if it's required and you want to redo it, but I will proceed now. In this example, I will not make any changes to contact information. I'll go to the final review. Here I see the account, location, port type, and pricing. I can print the uh, pricing details and save it as a PDF file. Everything looks fine. I agree to the pricing. I review the orders and terms. I read through it all. It's not very long. Select accept and then submit the order. Success. So my remote IX port has been ordered online via the portal. The key here is that I was able to upload a letter of authorization. If I go to my order summary, I will see that I have just created this one in AM3, a remote third party port. It's been accepted with the appropriate reference numbers. Here's an example of one that I tried 20 minutes ago, and it was already registered as book. That ends the demonstration. Thanks for watching.